Tunisia game. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Happy for you. I'm happy England's doing well. I think for the five, man, hope work's been good for you. Yeah. So this is game two between Doubt and MBL. This is the best of five for all those watching. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, that means it's a good game. And YouTube, if you'd like to see the whole series, I have it in the video description. What I'm doing now, guys, is let's say there's a five game set and only one game is YouTube worthy, in my opinion. I'll upload that game and then I'll put the whole set on another YouTube video that's unlisted in the video description. Uh, that way people can, can see all the games without having to come to Twitch if they don't want to. Anyway, uh, Tunes versus Portuguese. Uh, MBL needs victory here. I find this Civ matchup to be one of the biggest snooze fest Civ matchups ever. Like, oh, <laughs> I mean, Portuguese. Portuguese have a little bit more flexibility offensively in Feudal Age and Castle Age, but Tunes maybe an imp would be much stronger. Uh, I'm excited to see how this unfolds, though, because it's not a Civ matchup I've seen frequently. Is MBL going to lose that, Bill? Nah, he's fine. Alright, so we'll start with MBL's base. MBL has his main stone here, his main gold on the back. Again, a map that he could wall up. Oh, okay. MBL is calling a re. And doubts his veto. So... That's the other thing I didn't explain again for those just came that just came into the stream. I think they paused to discuss this. Uh, players have two restarts, and then there's also one veto per player. So Doubt is saying veto, which means that MBL shouldn't be able to use his re. <laughs> now... Yes. England can beat up on one of the worst teams in the dub C, but Croatia is going all the way. I would like Croatia to do well, Colby. Kobe. Is this just going to turn into a donation war over what team is going to win the World Cup? <laughs> Kobe, thank you for the five. Um, yeah, so it wasn't clarified in the rules if you could call the veto after four minutes because the re had to be called at four minutes earlier. MBL called his restart right at four minutes, probably thinking that Doubt wouldn't have the possibility of using his veto then, but I don't think that's how it works. So MBL has to play this out. So this will be the first time I've seen this system in use. Uh, I'm curious now, MBL probably unhappy with his map or his start, because it was messy underneath his TC, and he wanted to call Re, and Doubt said no, not happening. Oh, look at this. Look look at this. Doubt's trying to bring in this boar. And MBL's trying to lame. I think, yeah, Doubt should be able to bring this in. MBL being as annoying as possible because he has to play this one. I mean, I didn't look at all of MBL's map yet. But for the early game, Doubt's map is really good. So this map has stages to it, chat. So you have... A very strong Dark Age and Feudal Age with a map like this. You can barely be pressured because you can wall in towards your TC. And you have this gold here. But if throughout the game you cannot get map control, this is the problem. Stone's on the other side of the wood. This stone's forward. This gold's forward. And this gold's forward. So normally when you are this close to the map, the edge of the map, and you have a back resource, everything else naturally will be forward. So... For example, let's say MBL goes with a tower rush. He could tower this wood, he could tower this wood, and he could just hold the front and Doubt would die. So I think it's important for Doubt that he does everything he can to hold map control, and then this map and this start will give him an advantage. And right now it looks like he'll he'll either go archers or he'll go man at arms. He's going 23 pop up, so it's making me think he's considering archers. MBL, he's going for a tower rush. <laughs> and Toons are so good with the towers as well. I think Doubt will regret going archers. You give up so much map control when you go archers because you have to wait for them to be created. So, okay, here comes MBL. Doubt needs to hit Feudal, which he'll be later too. Then he needs to create archery ranges. Then he needs to wait for the archers to be produced. And Doubt can only build one defensive tower. MBL's towers can shoot more arrows. 
he's trying to hide the fact that he's coming forward, but I'm sure Doubt will know. And uh, yeah, this is one of the only early game strengths for Teutons. In late game, I think they're stronger than Portuguese. MBO could have stopped that. That's weird he left. He went around. He could have stopped that. But you know what? I think MBL, he is uh, thinking Doubt would go man-at-arms in this situation. Because normally you'd go man-at-arms into archers. And oh, God. MBL can't run through then. He might be able to tower here, but Doubt can just run to the other side. Doubt, very greedy with his scouting. He's just now going to MBL's base. He doesn't know what MBL is going for. And that's why he's relying on his walls, as he, as he so often does. And he's going to build archer ranges probably on the front there. And here comes MBL with the towers. So it's important for MBL to place these towers in devastating positions. So this tower goes up to protect this one. Doubt he can't see this. So this tower will be pretty good. And I think a tower here denies the gold with fletching. Oh, wow. He's going scouts? What? Why would you... What? To... What? Going gold for scout... Oh, Doubt's in trouble, man. Doubt's in trouble. He's trying to build a tower here. He doesn't know about this one. He's in trouble. And why scouts? It. Why go to gold for scouts? That This doesn't make any sense from Doubt. MBL does... I guess he's not concerned with that tower and he's going to batter his way through here doubt can't build more towers that's his only tower mbl can just shoot this down the only good thing is that mbl he could be hit at home with scouts because doubt has mobility that's the only good thing for doubt um mbl knows that so he's walling up a little bit but the scout choice doesn't make any sense to me as much as doubt would probably like for it to be this way you can't you can't go scouts and archers at the same time that's early. That's why his archery range is idle and his stable's idle. It's just not doable. I think he's going to buy stone with the gold, though, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So it's like this is all part of the plan. Three scouts coming forward, one on half HP for doubt, and MBL will probably have to vilfight this for now. And doubt has to run away from this wood line and go to the next wood line. Which, because of his walls, is completely fine. MBL can't exactly get over there. But what MBL can do is he can pressure the farm space of Doubt. So Doubt needs to get a tower up, and there we go. He's done so. It's not the end of the world for Doubt. It's just unconvincing is the word. Can he win the game? Yes, because MBL has really only denied a woodline and, and some stones. But we'll see. MBL must realize now his opponent has gone for a market. He's going to distract with this. This is so smart from MBL. Distract with the scout. So he hasn't lost any villagers yet. And his tower will go up. And I can pretty much tell you, MBL will garrison his vills. Kill this tower. And Doubt's going to need to build another one or have enough archers to stop the villagers from progressing. And Doubt can't get into MBL's base. MBL, look how compact his base is. He's building a tower at home now. He's he's even building a blacksmith, which acts as a wall on his wood line. The only thing that's exposed for MBL are the berry villagers. Yeah, man. There's no way Doubt can stop these towers if MBL can still build his own. What Doubt needs to count on is some type of counterattack or just his archers killing MBL's vills. MBL has less economy going for him. Because of the fact that he has so many bills forward. I think the last time Doubt and MBL played. Score was 4-2 to two MBL. Right now it is 1-0 Doubt. And he's having a rough time guys. He is having a rough time. He's towering his gold. He's, he's deleting the farm now. He can't be on berries. Doubt only has 60 food. Whereas MBL he has 400 food. And that is because of the fact that his farms have, were added early. They've not been disrupted. And also, the build order is actually a little bit cleaner for MBL because he didn't he didn't make useless buildings. I have air quotes, useless buildings, because Doubt has actually used them. 
Yes, uh, Rev Winfield. Correct. They do, man. I think MBL wants to tower war this. Yep. He wants to tower war this. So he's just going to toss down the tower. And now Doubt is going to have to garrison here and just more idle time. The only thing I'd say is MBL's tower here, it, it doesn't make too much sense. A Doubt doesn't see the Vils on gold, I guess. But ideally, he'd have a tower right next to his gold. So, so many vills inside here now. Doubt's the trouble. His, he needs gold. He'll have to go forward for gold, which he can do right now. I just wonder if MBL will be able to up. That's the thing. He has no military. So, he needs to up to the next stage, and that's why he's going to gold. He'll build another defensive tower. That's doing a good job at, at keeping map presence. It's just about the castle times now. And about how many villagers doubt loses. Oh my goodness, she was close to going down. No doubt losing this tower war. His vills are going to come out first. And he's going to have to repair this. This is sloppy stuff for doubt. And it makes sense because of how, how awful his economy is after this tower rush. MBL has to repair his. He'll probably garrison... To kill Doubt's villager, and this is so so tough. Like I, I really feel for Doubt because it's so difficult once you get in this position to do anything. Uh, MBL gonna rush this down? I think that was unintentional. Oh, that was unintentional from MBL. He's not paying attention to this. He's paying attention to his gold at home. You can see in the mini map. I don't think this is intentional. But it, what? Yeah, what's happening here? Oh god, MBL's losing so much. He also has given Doubt his gold back. This is why MBL was uh, not looking, because of the archers from Doubt. And Doubt clicks up to Castle Age. MBL, he wanted to use gold to buy himself up, and he's done so. So uh, still MBL will hold this position. And Doubt also lost some archers, but he killed the tower at least, which is what he wanted. Hmm. You know, I think if I'm MBL, I try and sneak a tower back here. Because you will get Bod Canera most likely at some point. So you try and sneak a tower that might just be in range of some of that gold. I don't know if that's doable, though. He'll place one here. Doubt just needs to go Knights now. He, he found a little bit of gold here. He's been using the market. Uh, interesting that he came so far forward for it. But what Doubt can do to fight underneath these towers is go Knights. And MBL doesn't even have a barracks, so MBL is just relying on this type of aggression. Quite one-sided comments here, big MBL fan. Are you saying I'm a big MBL fan or you're a big MBL fan? I know that there's definitely bias in the community, like people really like Doubt, he's a fun personality, but I, I would say that MBL probably doesn't get enough uh, recognition for how messy he can make his strats. Like, of course he's kind of forced to do that in this Civ matchup, but... He does a really good job with how he plays. And recently, he's had the edge versus Doubt, but you got to give Doubt credit. Well, you have to give Doubt credit for how he reacted after seeing the Tower Rush. However, I do think his Dark Age and, and Feudal Age choices have put him in this position. Probably a Monastery now for MBL. He could go for forward Monasteries and Siege, and then a forward Castle eventually. Yeah, if you expect your opponent's going to go Knights, just add a Monastery, well played. And he's adding TC's at home, actually. And Doubt is adding his first Knight, which is not going to have enough upgrades. Might kill one Vil. I'm more interested in how Doubt is going to push this back. That's what I want to know. The second MBL has two or three monks out here, Doubt's attack can't do much. Unless Doubt does something with Siege. So he is going for a battering ram. This is something MBL does not see, and he, he knows something's out here. He's building an outpost. Oh, he can see the Siege Workshop. So what's his reaction to that? Another tower. Okay. Actually, he's building a ton of towers. 
He can use his Vills versus the Battering Ram. He just has to keep the towers up and his monks alive. Hey, this is this is where MBL gets university and uh, researches guard tower. Get Bod Canero as well. Once he gets the resources for it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. He has both of Doubt's stones, so Doubt cannot build a castle to defend from anything or, or to attack. If Doubt loses the game, it's probably because he can't get working guns out of the castle. Not just kidding. <laughs> I don't think Oregon guns are going to make or break this game at all. It's going to be the knights. It's going to be the knights and the map control. There's eight knights there for doubt. There's going to be three monks for MBL and a lot of towers. And doubt trying to use his scout to pick off the uh, pick off the monks, which is funny. Let's see. Can he get conversions? That was late start to the conversions for MBL. He's using his Vils here. I don't think this is very good for MBL. Because I don't see him being able to utilize his monks. He does not have guard tower on the way. He added TCs, so he doesn't really have resources for anything anyhow. And he's going to lose one tower. He'll probably lose the next couple towers. And immediately he's panicking with just more and more towers. If he can get conversions, though, it can be huge. Uh... MBL getting two conversions with with three monks and then this monk as well, which I guess is four. Doubt. I mean, he just needs to continue with the knights here. I think he's doing a fantastic job. The battering rams taking MBL off of golds. MBL with zero golds. And Doubt. He's behind a couple vills, but he has good map control. Is it enough? If Doubt can't keep the knight numbers up, then the Rams die. And MBL gets his gold back. MBL kills this battering ram with his villagers. He's going into Pikeman, okay. And uh, yeah, maybe maybe that's the end of the night push from Doubt if MBL can get Pikeman. It's just he cannot afford anything, guys. Look, MBL has infested into so many towers. Enough towers where he could have just built a castle. I think MBL added way too many, um, not way too many TCs, but he went to third, the third TC a bit too early, in my opinion. Like, he does this a lot. He's, he's very greedy and he gets away with it. It's a style he excels with, but he added extra TCs and that just gave him less resources as he was creating Vils. We'll see, though. We'll see. He still has very good map control against Doubt. And Doubt... Not too interested in pushing it any further now. These knights will just get converted. These rams. Uh, the funny thing is the rams can like try and pick off the monks here. Let's see, MBL. Yeah, doubt needs to delete those. I don't know why Doubt didn't delete those. He just gave MBL some knights, but okay. Guard tower for MBL, Bod Canero for MBL, so Doubt's base gets just gets more and more awkward. And uh, the spears and the towers should be enough to hold this. I don't see Doubt pushing this at all. And, and now MBL's eco lead is paying off. Again, like that the awkwardness for MBL is kind of expected for him, I think. And he's gonna build a forward castle! And there's nothing Doubt can do about it. The two and tower rush. Doubt needs this gold. He's just coming out here now to address the towers. I don't think he can stop this. The castle should go up. And Doubt... Oh, he's sending his units back to stop that. All MBL needs is a quick wall. And speak of the devil. There are the quick walls. He sees the knights. And I think once the castle goes up, MBL can use his... Well... I want to say that MBL can use his Vils to kill the Battering Rams, but the TC is there for Doubt. Doubt could just garrison. This is interesting. MBL needs to keep the castle up. It's at 85%, and you can see the HP bar is not 85% at all. That's three Battering Rams for for, uh, for Doubt. Oh, and MBL is out of stone to repair this, which is funny. So he needs to purchase some stone. Does he have a market? He does, right? Yeah, he does. Teutonic Knights, let's go! Teutonic Knight for the Rams. Uh, of course, the castle has murder holes as well. 
it's losing HP slowly. And Doubt is garrisoning his town center so he can kill the, the Teutonic Knights. This is so interesting. I think that MBL can hold it. Oh, no, 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 no. He can't. I don't think he can hold it. Oh, it's so close. With three battering rams, Doubt kills it. Oh, this is so close. Can MBL kill that? He needs to focus on the right ram. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was so close. He loses it. And he has to quick wall his vills. He gets into the guard tower now. And, uh, I mean, still, MBL's boom is really strong at home. But he's wasted, like, a thousand stone in this game with towers and castles. That was so close, though. That's the crazy thing. It was so close. You know, if MBL would have built the castle more passively, had he deleted this tower and placed the castle here, it would have been just fine because Doubt's TC wouldn't have been in range. But hey, on the plus side for Doubt now, he uh, he gets his... He will slowly get his resources back, I think, anyway. Uh, plus side for MBL is he's still been untouched at home. So he has more town centers, he has more villagers, and he... Has a pretty good uh, idea of where Doubt will go for resources. He lamed this gold earlier. He sees this gold this year. So I think he'll put some focus on just stopping these towers from being taken out. And if he can just keep a couple of them there to deny the space, he'll be very confident. Doubt just needs stone, man. Doubt just needs stone. And he also would like to clean up these towers so he can get access to the golds that are forward. And, um... At least for now, I don't see Doubt getting this back. MBL scrambled a barracks up, scrambling pikemen out. And MBL using the knights he converted from Doubt in that corner earlier to pick off the, the units from Doubt, both the siege and the knights. So Doubt's in this weird position where he can only decide to do one thing, either counterattack or clean up the towers in his base. So now I think he's going to realize he can't deal with the pikemen. So he's transitioning into crossbows. Um, and I think he'll go arbs and imp. So using the market to get up, which is smart. Has MBL invested too much into pikemen? Making pikemen, upgrading pikemen, that delays your imperial time. He will be behind with the imperial age upgrade. But then again, can doubt do any damage with the arbalest too? I think it has to be arbalest and ram for doubt in the next stage, but... Are blessed on their own with no trebs, they die to the towers that MBL is still building. Well, Alisi, what I meant by that was there's there's two choices for Dow. There's a counter choice and there's a, a clean up your own base choice, but he has to choose one. That's what I meant to say. Maybe I didn't say it correctly. He has to do one or the other. MBL, he has an idea of where all the golds are, but he's not yet on his way to the Imperial Age. Doubt. Oh, you know what? If he gets lucky, he'll see this gold here. Uh, he just got T90 wooed somewhere, so <laughs> the luck might not be on his side. Yeah, I think MBL will just build more towers. He'll just build more towers. Just be as stubborn as possible so your opponent can't get these resources. And MBL getting handcart now, and he'll click up to him. So MBL with more gold options, more stone options, and very campy play style. This is how you have to play the Teuton Civilization, guys. You, you have to play this way, especially versus Civ that's more mobile than you. Uh, Portuguese, they have more mobility, and I think they have more flexibility in Feudal and Castle. For example, you can't go Arbalest if you're Doubt, or uh, MBL rather. So... You rarely want to invest in the crossbow, but Doubt can do this. He can invest into this, and he can justify it because he can go into Arbalest. And just talk about the map control from MBL. He has this gold walled up. He has the other stones towered for the most part. This gold's going to be towered. This gold's towered. He's just paying so close attention to the map here. And he's on his way to the Imperial Age. Now... What will his choice be? Well, he sees his opponent has archers, but no pikes. He's going to go into Cavalier. Now, he's pretty badly housed at the moment, MBL. So he needs to make houses. Um, it's been a sloppy day for him. I haven't. I don't see the houses going up now. Okay, now he's making them. But with the amount of resources he'll have over Doubt, if he cleans up this group of crossbows, 
This is going to be a very good situation for him. MBL getting conversions over here. Uh, yeah, he converts the crossbow. He'll deny the archery ranges from Dal. Dal has capped Ram now. Uh, he'll kill these towers finally. But is it too late? Is it too late? Doubt has no clue what MBL is going for. Doubt does not have his second or his third gold. Though he might... No, MBL is paying attention now. He's going to keep those vills alive. Wow. Okay, Doubt found this gold. If he didn't find this gold, I'd say that he'd be in a really tough position. But it's still doable. MBL builds a castle on his gold defensively. It's so hard to push Teuton castles. And he's going for Cavalier. And Doubt's base is wide open for raids. If MBL shows up here with 5 Cavalier, and here with 5 Cavalier, and here with 5 Cavalier, Doubt cannot track him. I think Doubt's going to be surprised by this move, and I think MBL looking very good to get a victory in game number 2. Yeah, this is MBL's point of view for those wondering. So, he knows about this gold, he knows about this gold, he knows about this gold. And I think Cavalier will come forward to save this tower. Um, even if he loses the Vills, which is likely, he can just build another tower. And this is where Doubt gets very surprised and gets completely swept. He'll lose his Rams, he'll lose his Villagers, he'll lose his Crossbows. He's trying to kill the Vills, so uh, more towers can't be built, which is funny. But I don't think that's going to save Doubt here. Amazing choice from MBL to go into Cavalier. Amazing choice. The Doubt's done a good job despite all the tower rushing, but he's gone into skirmishers. Everything he has here is, is thinking his opponent will go into pikemen. And MBL has gone for Cavalier. And Doubt has very little gold. One conversion won't change things. He'll lose Vils here and here, as I said, and MBL will just use his mobility. And look at his score now, MBL. He doesn't even need a tower on the one gold now because he has the mobility of the Cavalier. And Doubt is selling resources to get gold. And he's just getting hit everywhere. Getting hit here, getting hit here, getting hit here. I don't think Doubt can do it now. And even if he wants to go into Halberdier, even if he thought of it in the first place, he doesn't have the mobility. And if MBL splits up his, splits up his army like this... Halberdiers wouldn't have done anything, and he's just now building a barracks. Dow was completely blindsided by this choice. He did not expect it at all. And it's game over. I know Dow might not have resigned yet, but this is game over. MBL with an incredible game. Like, how, how to play with map control, 101. How to play the Teuton Civilization, 101, from MBL. That was sick. Like, the thing is, the impressive thing is, we are at the 48-minute mark. We see it. We understand it. MBL... He saw it at the nine minute mark and he wanted to build up to this point. So it's one thing to realize, you know, now that we see it all unfolding, why it's effective. But MBL thought of it in the very early part of this game. And there's a couple things that Doubt will be kicking himself for. A, he didn't scout very well. When MBL arrived, he had no clue. He was still trying to find MBL's base. So he didn't see where the towers were going to come up. So he couldn't go to early stone which would have helped him to build other towers. He he just had no clue, actually, <laughs> of like anything MBL was doing or where MBL was. Uh, and because of that, he's going to be kicking himself. Only other thing I can say is maybe he could have done slightly better with his counterattack, but I still think that was pretty good. Uh, MBL was just stubborn enough. A lot of people in the Twitch chat were calling GG at that point, but don't doubt MBL when it comes to messy games. MBL and Vivi, I'm telling you, if Vivi were to join Aftermath, just put Vivi on one flank, MBL on the other, make it messy, and have Hart and Leary pound people from the pockets. That would be crazy. So good with the full-time stream interest. Keep it up. Normally, I use these messages to be annoying, but I've grown up, Kappa. Alacy, thank you for 17 months, man. Guys, here's the resource difference. Doubt actually collecting the same amount of gold, but I think that had to do with a lot of the selling he was doing. And of course, MBL had virtually unlimited gold on the map then after that engagement. Uh, the technology stats there for you, the society stats. YouTube, as I said, the first game from that series won't be uploaded. If you'd like to see the full best of five, look in the video description. You can just watch it all on one YouTube video. 
But uh, we're going to move on here on the live stream to game number three now between MBO and Dell. Skip says you hate towers, but you love messy players with towers. I, I do, actually. I can appreciate it because they're so 